Hi, it's Vaughn here, Berkeley Chef, Chef Vaughn. So, you know, I love outdoors. So, guess what? I'm outdoor. I have here a sort of a mini rocket stove that we've created, and you can see that in the course that I created explaining how I designed this. So, I have the fire warming up, and I'm gonna just. I roasted some tomatoes earlier. I put some fresh uh, wood in here now, so it's warming up and getting back to the right temperature then I'm gonna saute those tomatoes and make a typical Trini tomato choker so stay tuned and you'll see that coming up next so we're just adding some oil in here so that we can saute our uh, herbs and uh, inside here so fire is getting pretty hot now the uh, stove is warmed up as so we're about to saute our veggies so now i'm throwing in onion garlic and some fresh herbs from our garden which is the list of the herbs we use will be in the description in the video description so you can check that out oh it's looking good now the one thing with cooking on an open fire like this is the temperature does get hot with a nice stove like this so always be mindful as I said before in some other videos that you've seen me cooking here always be mindful of what you're doing around the temperature so sauteing the veggies now oh that smells delicious delicious oh man the herbs i mean I'm sorting the herbs now and that smells delicious oh so now i'm gonna add some more seasonings and the list of the seasonings will go into the the description on the site so you can check it out and get the full list of the seasonings there with a little bit of salt everything is cooking beautiful 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 yum 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 I'm gonna leave this to saute until everything is soft and I get to see a little brown in some of the onion and garlic and then I will move on to the next step of adding our tomatoes in this for our tomato choker so stay tuned for that things the herbs are ready and the seasoning so now we're pouring in our tomatoes in there they've been pre-roasted already so oh it looks delicious Alright, so we are now just mashing it up, letting it cook. Looking delicious. Oh, it smells good. Wish you could taste it. So what we're going to do is let this simmer a little bit. Let this boil in here. Looks delicious. And as this uh, boils some more, the tomatoes will soften up and we'll mash them down some more. So we let that, put it on, let it boil put a little water in there so that it can come to a nice boil roasted tomatoes oh oh man I'm feeling hungry already just watching it all right so we put it back on put a little more wood on the fire and let that boil till it gets to a nice thick liquid or semi thick so I'll see you around in a bit when we open it up to check it again oh, oh boy oh delicious oh. this is an awesome summer hat Berkeley Chef's Smackalicious hat is an awesome hat to keep the sun out of your eyes on sunny days like this one we also have other hats like this one and this one to get any of the hats that you saw on the screen at berkeleychefs.com slash get your gear bye Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, man. 
I'm drooling just checking this out. Oh, oh, nice. So we let that boil down some more and we'll check on it later. From this view here, it is now done. This is the texture that I've been looking for. I'm looking for it to be nice and thick. I'm looking for it all to be like almost sticking when I'm uh, stirring it. It's really thick now. Most of the moisture is gone. And so this is a beautiful tomato choker or roast tomato choker. As they would say in Trinidad. But this is uh, your tomato sauce, roasted tomato sauce, and you can use this in various things. So you can use it as a base in a soup. You can use it, you can uh, can it and uh, leave it in your uh, pantry over the winter and take it out when you need it. You use it in uh, pizza dough. If you're making pizza, you blend this up properly and make sure it's fully liquid and then you can spread it over the pizza dough with some fresh tomatoes mixed in as well and you can use this uh, just like that with some roti or some naan and uh, you can enjoy this beautiful tomato paste roasted tomato paste or Trinidad we would say roast tomato choka so that's it thank you for watching the Berkeley chef channel don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye bye